Hi, this is Stacy. Thanks so much for joining with me on my second design team project for Calico Collage. I had the pleasure of working with the Love of Wine kit for the month of June and it is so gorgeous. I love it and uh, it's probably now one of my favorite kits for sure. Um, so I made two journals. This one is a hardcover book. It's uh, 9 by 6 and I upcycled um, the hardcover, I mean, and I did a hidden spine so that I could, you know, show off the, the the true beauty of this cover. Now there are some flaws in it, which is okay. It just gives it some character. Sorry for the glare, because it is very shiny. And I was able to fit this image from one of the ephemera in the kit right over top of this the image that was on there. So. This was so fun and I filled the pages right to the edge so this time I didn't do any tabs but I did add some charms. There's some wine bottle and little wine, little wine glass filled with red wine, my favorite. I'll jump right in here. So I've paired this uh, kit with some scrapbook paper that I had in my stash. We have a library pocket here and uh, this is from one of the ephemera sets that Calico Collage has in their shop and I will link everything below. I've backed all the pages with the line pages so that there's extra writing space for lines with lines on it. I know I enjoy writing on a lot of line pages as well so here's some uh, stamped fabric. This is some of the stamps that I had in my stash. Here are some tags. Now this one is from the kit. This was from some scrapbook paper that I had. There's a doily, a coloring page. I've uh, got some lightly stained coffee pages. There's some gorgeous images from the kit. I've put some different textured paper in here. I've collaged, done some collage with some of the ephemera bits. I even had, um, this is a this is cork. It was from um, an encyclopedia that I had. Now this is, uh, I used that Tim Holtz um, stencil. It looks like I was drinking wine and spilt it while I was making this. But <laughs> There's another little collage here and I've made it into a little tuck spot there. Some more. It's very easy to write over that and it looks makes the pages look fun. Um, I've added in um, this is a cork pocket here. This is cork paper that I had gotten at Michael's. Oops. There's another little fabric stamped piece there. These are um, old, they're from the 90s. They're old wine labels that I had in some Happy Mail. And there's some more ephemera from the kit. Now I've pinned a lot of stuff in so that you can move it around and use it wherever you like scrapbook paper went so perfect with this kit. I love the images. There's so much ephemera in this. I printed the kit out full, fully and then I added one more. I printed the ephemera out twice so that's I used the ephemera in the other journal. There's the little charm and on this tag I've added a little pin and this uh, plum colored sari silk matches really perfect with the images in the in the pages. And there's a pocket. I love this cork paper. <laughs> I've used old ledger. There's some more stamped fabric with my some stamps from my stash. I have so much stuff in my stash. There is some this one's from uh, Calico Collage, and this was from some scrapbook paper. I've added botanical pages, paired really well with some of the images in the in the uh, kit itself. I love Italian wine, so I couldn't help but add that in. And this is um, the scrapbook paper went. Um, it was really nice that you can write on it. It's not too dark, so you can add pictures and you know do some writing in here, and you can still see it really well. Some more of that book page. 
here is another pocket and this one here is from the kit and this is a postcard of old aged cheese I got this postcard at the France Pavilion at Epcot on one of my Disney trips Disney Disney World I always acquire some little goodies like that when I go never know when they'll come in handy for junk journals Just collage some of the ephemera in the kit. Here is a little sandwich bag. I've added some extra pieces of writing space. Really love this girl. <laughs> a lot of fun. You can write uh, some st stories you've shared with some of your friends while you're drinking your wine. So those are lots of goodies. Here's another little fabric stamped piece, and I've added this little tag in here that have corks in it. Just tuck that in there. And this is another scrapbook paper I had. There's the little wine bottle. Um, this is from the kit as well. This little pocket, and I've just added uh, my own little tag in there. The Wine Whisperer. That was one of my favorite ones. Here's another wine label. And another postcard from the Ephemera. Get. This isn't coffee. It's funny because I feel like all I've been doing is making coffee journals. So I'm on to wine and there is another tuck spot there. I've done lots of the stenciling. These are pages that were in the, well, in the front of the book. When I ripped them out to bind the book, I used the pages in there. There is uh, another one of the images of this little lady here. I love these. These are fun. This is some cork washi tape that I had. It looks like this. It's pretty neat. It was really cool. So I just added some there, added a pocket here, and this was just some scrapbook paper I had. Every empty bottle is filled with stories, that's for sure. This book lays nice and flat, you can do lots of writing. This has got some French vocabulary pages in it. Here's a music page pocket. I've just added some of the ephemera from the kit in there. And this tag here, this is my favorite one, I love it. It's got, I just added some sari silk that matched a little pin there. These are something you can either write on the back or you can add it to a gift, a gift bag. You were giving a bottle of wine to somebody. Here's another little tuck spot in here. These are all bits from the ephemera kit. Added lots of little extra writing space. There's a postcard. This is a little collage I did with one of my vintage date do stickers. I love the flowers. If these flowers are in the kit, you can just fussy cut around them and use them. You could make a tuck spot or you can use them for collaging. And here is um, the back page. It was supposed to be, I think, the cover page, but I used it in here and I've just decorated a little bit with this cork washi tape here. So that's that one. This one here, um, I used an upcycle. I up upcycled an old envelope. So that's what this is made of. It is seven and a half by five and a quarter, and I've decoupaged a napkin that I had with all these great wine images on it. It's kind of vintage looking. There's uh, also another little bottle of 
wine charm there and right here at the bottom with a vintage rose bead. Now this can come right off. It's, I've just slid it in between the signature stitch there, but you can certainly take it right off. So inside here I've got some more of these little pockets. Some Somebody must be at the door. Little tuck spot there. I've added uh, lots of little pockets and stuff in here. There's a pocket here. Oh, this is a wine label too. Forgot to mention that. So this is just a color. There's no um, none of the digital um, pages in this. It's just all coffee pages and stuff. But I've just added all the ephemera in the kit, just for a nice little takeaway journal or a gift. There's another wine label right there. These are all from the 90s. And then all these cute little cards. This is a tracing paper pocket. And I've just um, added a little bit of this sari silk that matched on the edge there. And then here's another one of these uh, aged fromage French cheese postcards from Epcot. Uh, yeah, a little stamped one. That one's attached. Um, this one I made into a little sticker. You can use that anywhere. This is a tag. Coffee paper, another collage with all the little goodies from the kit. There's a tuck spot there. Here's another cork pocket and some more ephemera. There's another one there. Be a good place to if you're doing a get-together with your girlfriends, just a document. I know one of my friends has a dress club and she was thinking about something like this just to document how they get together every month and they all drink wine. These are all from the... I had a lot of cutting to do because this kit was very, very, very full of lots of good little bits and pieces. So, And here again is that pocket. And the charm in the center. You can always use the charm at the top. Hang it out the top or the bottom. I kind of prefer the bottom, but there's a tuck spot there. Here's a fabric stamped piece again. And I've added some of the little pieces here. So you can move them around and let them decorate wherever you want, or if you need more for that journal or something. Or another journal, you can got some pieces to work with. There's that cork washi. Oh yeah, there's a pocket in here. I've added extra pieces. Postcard. This is just a little collage. And there's another little sticker. I made that one into a sticker. There's some flowers from the kit as well. Some, it's not vintage ledger, but it's older ledger. A little tuck spot in here. I make wine disappear. What's your superpower? And there's the back. This is also a pocket in here. So it's just a nice little journal to carry in your purse or not. Just use it on its own. It's not sized to fit into a traveler's notebook or anything. It's just sort of a standalone journal. But anyway, thank you so much for joining me. I had so much fun with this. I, I think I may actually make another wine journal if I can find another book like this because I really enjoyed this one. This is this is really my favorite kind of style of journal to make. So, Anyway, I thank you so much. I've had new subscribers lately and I really appreciate everybody um, stopping by. And don't forget to leave comments because I love your comments for one. And it also keeps you sort of registered for future um, giveaways that I'll be doing when you comment um, which 
I because I like to do surprise giveaways so at some point I'll be doing another one this summer so you know if you do have the opportunity to leave me some feedback I really appreciate it all right take care